like in the first half, your teammates were struggling to score, yeah. and you picked them up like yeah, you do. Yeah. In the second half, you were struggling with turnovers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, your defense they kept, got yeah. better, and they, they got they kept me up. Yeah, that just team was like, it's team win. That's what you yeah. guys. Is that a typical typical game for you guys? You think? Um, uh, somewhat. I mean, when my team is struggling offensively, I try to pick them up, and when they know I'm struggling, I mean, they try to give me the ball still, but usually someone else gets going, and then. I come along eventually, but that's how I usually go. But I can't believe I turned the ball that many times. <laughs> I felt the coming. I know I had a couple mispasses too, so yeah. So it looked like you had a couple of miscommunications where you those turnovers to... don't don't show who I'm really am. Where <laughs> <laughs> you maybe expected a guy to keep going and they didn't. And yeah, exactly, it. exactly. Um, so it was, you're blame it on them. Yeah, right? I, <laughs> Like it it's, it's stuff that we can definitely fix, so it's, uh, hey man, we won. <laughs> but can, can you put into perspective for us what this means for the program to be able to host the tournament quarterfinals? It's the first time in program history to do so, and then also win it to advance to the semifinals. Can you give us an idea of just how, how big a win that is for you guys? Man, this is huge, man. I can tell you, staying here over the summer, I made a list of goals. and I mean, it's, it's my senior year. I feel the urgency to just complete everything I ever wanted. And March Madness is definitely one, because I have a few friends that played on the South Carolina team mm -hmm. a, a year ago. So I was like, man, I want to go to March Madness. I was watching that their little run, so I was like, man, I can do that, or well, I can help my team get to that point. So I worked my butt off over the summer. And man, just doing it here, man, it's huge, man. Uh, I don't even know if the, the program ever made it to a, a NCAA tournament before, but if not, that's huge. Our first time hosting a quarterfinals is huge, man. It's a bunch of stuff on here that I didn't think would happen this year, and it, it's happening, man. It's just unfolding, and I don't know, man. It's God. That's all I can say, man. They have made it's it. Really it's blessing. been like uh, 14 years, yeah. I think. Yeah, that's so, crazy. It's crazy. So it's been a while. Man. Um, this, the importance of turnovers, I think, showed up too tonight. I know you're not happy with your yeah your total, but you guys forced 22 of theirs and got quite a few points off of them. Can you just address that and how important that is? Uh, man, uh, we talk every day in practice, defense, defense, and, and we tell each other in huddles, as long as our defense is going, we, we, we think we can, uh, we can get through every game. I mean, we feel like we can compete. As long as the defense is there, I feel like we're there, no matter what. Just like in Pembroke, we was just in Pembroke last weekend, and last Wednesday, they were beating us, uh, by 19, it was 24 to like 5 at one point, and we came back, they ended up winning by 6, but the defense prevailed, and it just shows, man, that when we play defense, we can compete with any team out there. With about three minutes, two minutes left to go in the game, Coach Edwards took you out for what will more than likely be your last time here. Can you give us an idea of the emotions that you felt when you when you leave the foot? You're in your home uniforms, but uh, yeah. but uh, playing your final game here? Uh, Man, it's, it's crazy, man. Uh, time has flown, man. I, I can't believe it's here, but I actually didn't feel any emotions because we were up like 30, so, I mean. <laughs> It, it'll hit me uh, probably whenever March is over, basketball is over for me, and I just come back and just look at the court, and I'm just here by myself just gazing, like, whatever we've done so far and whatever we can do, I'm happy with it, man. This is – never thought we'd get this far, honestly. And nobody else did either. Exactly. Early on, right? Exactly. <laughs> man, hey, man, we, we have some motivation going in here. I don't know if you guys know, but we were preseason ranked number 10. We finished number three. That's all I can really say, man. And I appreciate the Peach Belt doing that. They, I feel like they disrespected us very bad. So. How about the 20 wins, too? That's long been sort of a benchmark of a yeah. successful basketball Another season. Another goal I wrote down. I wanted to win 20 games. I said, if we win 20 games, we'll go to the tournament. And, uh, speak of NCAA tournament. Another goal I, I can scratch off. I'm just very proud of our team. You know, we had some goals before the season. Nobody thought much of us, you know, what we were picked 10th really tied for 10th. So we were, everybody thought we were either going to be 10th or 11th. One of those. They couldn't decide. But we felt like we were a little better than that. Uh, we had Dietrich Browning <laughs> and we had other, a bunch of other guys who were willing to roll their sleeves up and go to work and play some roles. So we wanted to get into the tournament. We wanted to get into the tournament. And by golly, we did that. We were in the top eight. You know, a couple of weeks ago, we realized we were going to be in the top eight. And we said, wow, it'd be neat if we could uh, host a first-round game. So let's be top four. And by golly, we did that. We won three straight games at home, and we beat Lander on the road, and we beat Flagler on the road. 
And we were the third place team all by ourselves. And we had to match up with North Georgia. And I felt like North Georgia was a, a good matchup for us. Even though North Georgia is a very talented team, they score 80 points a game and they've got some very talented individuals. For some reason, we just match up pretty good with them and we can guard them. And that's a big key for us. If we can guard you, we're going to score enough points on you most of the time. Most of the time, we'll score enough points on you if we can guard you. And I think you saw that tonight, you know. Uh, we sputtered. We weren't, we weren't great offensively tonight, particularly in the first half. We missed a lot of open shots, but our defense was grinding out pretty consistent, pretty consistent defensively. And for all <coughs> intents and purposes, they had 54, right? They had 54. We really held them under 50. We gave them a couple of bunnies there at the end, but we held them under 50. And that's a great, you know. And by golly, I gave the guys a test in the, in the locker room. I said, there's an old saying. There's an old saying that is appropriate about defense here. I, don't, I want you to tell me what that old saying is. Does anybody know what that old saying is about defense? Well, and I was hoping they would be able to answer because we have that a sign in our locker room. <laughs> It's a dang sign. It's a sign right there. It was right there. It was right there in front of them. And not a dang one, not a dang one can tell me. But I'm here to tell you, friends, defense wins championships. I've been a lot of years coaching this dang game, and, 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 and I've been fortunate enough to be in some championship games. Defense wins championships. And tonight we played defense. And I hope, like heck, Saturday night we're going to play defense, and Sunday afternoon we're going to play defense. And if we do, we've got a pretty good chance here. I think we've got a pretty good chance. So it's been quite a, quite a journey for this team. <laughs> we've talked about roles on this team a lot this year, but, but like tonight in the first half when everyone else was struggling to score, Dietrich was scoring. In the second half, he was turning the ball over. Um, yeah. He couldn't get open looks, and then your defense caused some things and it got other guys involved offensively. Just what does that say yeah. about this team? It, it, we're very resilient. We are very unselfish, and we've become pretty tough. There were some tough rebounds out there. There were some tough defensive slides over screens. I can't say enough about Warren. I thought Warren played a tough game out there. He looks like me a little bit. I mean, I'm a little better looking, but he looks like me, and he's in there battling these six, seven, six, eight guys. There's no way I could get a rebound, but he's got heart. He's got heart, and he's a senior, and he wants to go out in style. He's really he had five steals today. He's slow as dirt, but he had five steals today. But you can go through, you know, Ryan, Ryan Day, you know, all those guys. They're really playing with their heart, and they're really playing hard. And some great things can happen when, when, when you have that kind of, kind of group. Can you live with 15 turnovers when you get 18 steals? Well, yeah, I mean, you want, you want a margin. They turn it over 22. We turn it over 15. Seven's not bad. You know, we'd like to get more, 8, 9, 10, or whatever. That wasn't a typical turnover game for us because of what you just said. Dietrich turned it over in the second half. He's not going to – if that's the only thing I have to worry about, I'll sleep like a baby. <laughs> Dietrich turning it over. You know, he, he just a couple times they collapsed on him. I think he tried to force some things a little bit, but that's not going to happen on a regular basis. He's going he's gonna to turn those turnovers into more assists. He had five assists. He'll turn those turnovers into eight, nine assists come Saturday. I feel confident about that. Speaking of Dietrich, with about two minutes left to go in the game because of the margin of, of the lead, you take him out for what is probably going to be the final time in his career here at FMU. Right. He, he said that has not hit him yet. How right. about you when, when you pulled him off the floor? Yeah, the you know, time? I think it would have hit me harder if we didn't have all these exciting things in, in our future. You know, we've got the Final Four. We can win a Peach Belt Conference Championship. We haven't been in the Final Four since the French and Indian War. Have we ever, <laughs> let's go stat people, have we ever cut the nets down here at Francis Marion? I don't know. That's a good thing to research. I don't know if we've ever cut the net. The great team they had, Kennesaw, they, we probably were the second best team in the country that year, but Kennesaw was the number one team in the country and beat us four times. So we didn't win the conference championship. We didn't win the regional. 
So, I mean, there's some heady stuff ahead of us. So it would hit me a lot harder. It'll hit me harder when I know it's Dietrich's last game, wherever that might be. But we've got some exciting stuff ahead of us this weekend, and it looks like I think if we win tonight, we're in the NCAA tournament. I think we've got some exciting things ahead of us um, in a couple of weeks, you know? So it's exciting. I'm happy, happy for all of our seniors, particularly happy for Dietrich. We wanted Dietrich's senior year to be nice and special, and, and it has. It has already, but it could be even more special. Chris asked Dietrich about this, but I'll, so I'll steal it and ask you. Okay. The, the 20 wins. The newspaper guys are. Isn't that true? Isn't that, isn't that true? Yeah. These newspaper guys are <laughs> yeah. radio. Well, they I don't want to stay on the radio. He has to save his voice because he has to talk for a living. I don't. I, you know. I just, <laughs> you got to keep your fingers agile. That's right. right? Okay. But no, the 20 win benchmark, I mean, that's long been a, a standard. I mean, it's been a long time since Frank Samaria men have won 20 yeah. games in the yeah. season. It is. That's, it is. What's that mean to you guys? It, it, it means a lot. It means a lot. Um, you know, it's funny, Dr. Carter, our president, was talking to me a couple of weeks ago, and we were at 15, right? We were at 15. And Dr. Carter says, oh, you guys, you guys are going to win 20, right? I go, well, you know, we, we got to win like five out of six and six out of seven. It's not that easy. You know, we lost a game this year, too. St. Andrews didn't come to town. So it was even tougher. Out of 27 games, 28 games, right? So where are we, what are we, 20 and 8 right now? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's it's pretty neat. I mean, it's pretty neat for us to get to, to 20 wins because you it doesn't happen. You know, it's like, it's like, it happened, re it happens regularly at Duke, right? It happens regularly at North Carolina, but it doesn't happen that much at Clemson. Right. <laughs> it doesn't happen that much, you know, and that's where we're at, you know? Um, so it's, it's really neat when it does happen. Happy for everybody. Happy for our fans. Again, we get a pretty good crowd after halftime. I don't know what our students do early in the evening. <laughs> Maybe go to class. God bless them. I don't know what they do early in the evening, but by golly, they come after halftime, and we've got a good crowd in the second half. So A late-arriving crowd. A late-arriving crowd. We get those in some place. Hopefully, wherever we play, somebody will travel and cheer us on wherever we play. It'll be a lot easier if it's at Pembroke, right, than if it's at Clayton. But, hey, we'll play them wherever. Yep. Play them wherever. When, as we sit here, the last report was Pembroke was up by double digits, so it looks like they're going to win. So yeah. That yeah. being said, what does that mean, third go-round with them for the semi? Well, I'll tell you, and I, and I said, I mean, Ben Miller doesn't really want to play us, and I don't blame him. I think we match up really well with Pembroke, you know? Now, Pembroke, I don't want to say anything that Pembroke's going to put up on the bulletin board. You know what I mean? You guys are great. I love, <laughs> I love Pembroke. Go Braves! You know? <laughs> Seriously, I love you guys. You know I do. <laughs> but I think it's a good matchup. You know, I think it's a good matchup. We've had two really good games with Pembroke. And that's all I want. And that's all he wants. We, we want good game. We want a good game and let's battle and, and, and see who can come out of that thing. Why are they a good matchup for you? Well, yeah, I don't know. You know it, it's funny. I don't know. I mean, I, well, I do know, but I don't want to tell a secret. I don't want to tell a secret because I know you guys are. I know you guys are li li looking at it. I, I have my theories. I have my theories. But here's a big thing: we have to hang on the boards with them. That's the biggest thing. You know, poor Warren and Judah and all those guys. They have got a battle. That's a big key if we can hold our own on the boards. We did both games pretty much, but it's a tough assignment. They're really good rebounding. They're really good rebounding. So, but if we can hold our own on the boards then I think it's a good matchup.